like it's just funny. You know? I'm not even mad about it. Get Royal Kone Poma Dirt Seekers, welcome back to our brand new video. So I just got back from Hawaii not too long ago and look I come back to two beautiful packages that I ordered. Shout out to Gita Motor, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I ordered these two things for two different trucks. So you guys can tell by the background. I tengo la, la my green truck y para esa truck le unos tapetes because I heard this is a, a great company. Pero también, um, I don't have tapetes and I've been lagging. And then in the bottom, you guys see the long box. I tengo, I, bought, I ordered some running boards because as you guys know, the gray truck is my, my family truck and my daughter has a problem. She can't really reach, so I gotta be picking her up. So that I decided to order some running boards. And after we install these things, I have a lot of things to do because as you guys know, I've been busy. Uh, I've been gone for like a week in Hawaii. Se me amontonaron las cosas. So let's check this, let's check these out. Sheesh, and I believe these are uh, the, the, como se dicen los tapetes, the, the all weather, you know, they're like for snow, dirt, and they come with the, they come with the manual too, it's going to show you how to, how to install floor mats, but I think it's pretty, I don't really think we need this, right, it's just freaking mats, so enough talking, and let's freaking install these things, these things are badass, and the quality looks really amazing on these. I've been eating some bats for a while. Um, okay, yeah. Perfect. Sheesh! Hell yeah. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. They go freaking different. So I just gotta clean up the truck though because it's all, it's all dirty. And then also, I have a whole bunch of freaking tickets that I have to worry about, you know? So on the next vlog, I think, or maybe later on, we're gonna be taking off all this tent and all this stuff, man, and go visiting the freaking cops. So let's go install the other one now. So now let's install the other one, the driver's side. This is the most important one because it's mine. Sheesh. Look at that big old freaking difference, dude. Once again, shout out to Yida Motor. All right, so up next, the running boards. Those mats fit perfect. Let's see. But if it's, uh, if it's easy, we're gonna go ahead and start them right now. And if not, we're gonna head and just leave it for another video because, man, these things are amazing. I like the quality of them, look. They're not just some stock ugly ones. Um, yeah, because I have another appointment. Yeah, these should be perfect. Gonna read this manual. We have an appointment for. We have an appointment for our blue SS clone. So we don't want to be late for that. So we might have to do this when we come back or something. On this, I want to see the manual. See how hard it is. See if I have time. Yeah, this is gonna take way too time. I don't want to miss that appointment because it's very, very important. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just gonna go ahead and leave this for another vlog, ladies and gentlemen. Um, because we're running a little bit late. Um, but yeah, we're up next. We're just gonna go and take our blue SS clone, my boy Ramon from Team Billet, and he's gonna be installing finally a freaking step notch because this, the freaking truck is freaking bouncy. That's where the name Bouncy Betty came. For those of you who are new to the channel, and you guys wonder why we all my Jerry Seekers call the blue truck the SS clone the bouncy Betty. Mm -hmm. But yeah, real quick before I go inside, I want to give a huge shout out to Yida Motors. For these amazing parts badass quality also we're going to be leaving links down below if you guys want to go ahead and purchase some things with 40 percent off with that being said let's go get ready and let's head on over to take the blisters clone over there we're about to get on the freeway and a car kept telling me that something he kept pointing in the front of my in the front of my truck so i honestly think my headlight fell off yeah i knew it damn see so these headlights are trash I shouldn't even be right here on the freeway to be honest. There we go, hopefully we make it. They're already cracked, so maybe we'll buy some new ones on this vlog too. I'm gonna be showing you guys a before video of how much I jump. And then hopefully after it's fixed, I'm gonna show you guys how it doesn't jump. But look. And I'm not even exaggerating, I swear this is this is really the truck. 
So depending on how fucked up the road is, damn, like right here it's really messed up and it's gonna hop. I'm driving normal, look. So you guys don't say that I'm lying. Man, this thing's a freaking roller coaster. But to be honest, I'm not even like, like it's just funny. You know? I'm not even mad about it. <laughs> so we just pulled up. Man, I really do not like these lights at all. Not only that, but they're freaking broken and they suck. So I know it looks funky. These are not the lights that we're gonna be keeping. Like I said, we might go shopping after this. But we pulled up. I'm pretty sure they did it. It looks like it's like pretty much leveled. And then it's my first time being at this shop. Right now, after I show you guys around, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little fun fact about this shop. Good old memories. I, at first, I thought it was NL Suelo Suspensions, but it's NL Suelo Suspensions. If you guys watch Isma's channel, you guys, uh, I'm pretty sure you guys are familiar with, with this shop. Because uh, Isma's truck is here now that we speak of. But then right off the bat, look, they have a whole bunch of badass wheels. Talking about Isma, I believe these are his. Están todos puteados y para la verga porque ya lo conocen, but... Damn, look at this one. Yeah, this is a fat ass one, 405, 28, 26. Those are sick. That's gold right here. Yeah, gas and four link, the todo. So look at all these parts, tubs and everything. Damn, they already have everything. Small little shop, nothing crazy. Look at this thing. Look at the bumper. It gets the job done. It's a badass truck. I cut it bad. Check it out. And then chinga mi compa. What what is he doing? Good question. He's making it salvage. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, whoever Chuck this is, man, this is a badass color. I don't think you can really tell because the sun is not on the favor, but look at this. It's like, it's like a, like a different type of blue, like a baby blue. This thing is beautiful. That's sick. Yeah, aquí está la bed. Y pues, mira que hay. Muchos más camionetas aquí that are getting work done. This one's probably getting a diff, shortened. But this is some of the work right here, look. Beautiful welds. Sheesh, amen to that. Real trucks are built, not bought. And I have a, another nice truck right here. Looks like my green one. I'm pretty sure they're doing the same thing. A diff. Yep. So look at where we're pulling up and you guys know exactly why I'm here. So shit is about to get intense. Either they fix it or we leave with the lawsuit. So right off the bat, look, they have one here. I don't know if it's a client, sold, person or what. One of them, it's weird. One of them has a paddle and the rest have, oh no, two of them have paddles. Two different paddles. I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the personal. So we just left the shop and they're very helpful, which is really, really good. I mean, so far, you know? So if they keep it up, then it's a badass shop. And then if they start giving me a hard time, then then that, that, that would really suck, you know? And that's when things are gonna get crazy. But as of now, they were super, super nice. We got an appointment. Uh, for Tuesday, um, they said bring it in early morning so they can take a look at it, and then we're gonna go on from there. So now we just wait till Tuesday. It's only a couple of days, and then we will keep you guys updated on that case. But as of now, let's keep the day going. We got a lot more things to do. So guys, you guys know we can't continue this vlog without a special guest, El Chulo. ¿Qué onda, mi chulo? ¿Cómo andas? ¿Cómo van a ser más chulo del mundo? <laughs> Sí, sí, ¿cómo no? Ladies and gentlemen, so we're continuing the vlog here. You guys won't guess where we're at. 
visiting my good friend Vasquez Truck Repair. And he called me over here because he wanted to show me two of his brand new trucks. And man, I was in love with one and I'm in love with another one. So let me show them to you guys right off the bat. Look at this thing. This is the one that Lalo's in love. I'm not gonna lie. I I'm in love with the two. I'm not really too much of a lifter guy, but this thing looks sick. And I believe this one he made it a short bed. I was here and I was seeing all the work. This one uh, is, uh, I'm correct, it's a 2500. And it's a diesel, the Remax. And man, look at how clean this truck is. It's just put together very, very nice. I would not mind having something like this. For once, stop worrying about all the potholes and shit. And these wheels, oh my god. What size even are these things? They are 26s. Why do they look so huge? Because of the tires are 26s. Look at this thing, man. This thing is amazing. And my good friend here, he lets me borrow his trucks. So he tells me, when you want to get trucks, just let me know. No más que la verdad, le tengo miedo porque estas trocas no son baratas y ya saben que lo prestado es caro. Lo que tengo no lo prestado. Pero pues ya pretty soon he's gonna start working on the fixing that. But this is the other one that he's gonna show me. Sheesh, look at this thing. What is that? Look at this thing, man. <laughs> like, exactly like mine, but this thing is beautiful. And this one is up for sale. So anybody who's interested, I do not, I do not know the, the price or how much you're asking for. But here is the phone number if you guys want to go ahead and call. And these are all the trucks that he's built and he sold. But look at this, exactly like mine. Exactly like mine. This is beautiful. It's a badass, unique color too. I've never seen anything like this. This is what I was freaking excited for. I always know in this corner, he has a whole bunch of cool shit. Man, I'm about to ask him if this is his or if he's sending it. My dad would freaking love this thing. This thing is so clean. Even look at the paint. If this is original paint, then man, I don't even want to know how much he wants for it. This is super, super clean. And then, you guys already know he has all this weird stuff going on here. He has like a long bit on top of like a freaking, I don't know, but as you guys saw the truck over there, it wants to look like this, so the man knows exactly what he's doing. I don't blame him for being so smart. You don't know what's going on with this carrito. That parece yo que aquí, but this thing looks freaking hilarious, dude. Look at this thing. <laughs> Sheesh! Me acaba de usar la loque. Están pintando otra sueño que No, 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 mi compa se pasa. Mira nomás aquí tiene otra pinche sueño que hay. La neta mi compa se ha aventado. Y esta no es como la mía, esta todavía es la mini mi, más chiquita todavía. So, esta va a quedar bien, bien chingona. So, si les interesa, vayan para acá. Estamos en la ciudad de Riverside, Rupa Valley. Aquí hacen bodywork, pintan, de todo. Framework. Basket Chocoper, también lo pueden buscar en Google. Pero aquí hacen de todo: framework, bodywork. Te vean, están ahí los frames para que armen una si ustedes quieren. Perro viejo anda pata. ¿Qué dice, compa? Fuck you, bitch. Bájese la verga. Twenty five hundred, and he turned it into a single cab as well, short bed, for sale, man. Ustedes escojan su troca de, de sus sueños, y esta viene con lujo. Pero fíjense cómo está la 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 bed. It's a short bed, and it comes with a step, so it's really really nice. And then this one is the eight legs. You know what? Ah, por si no saben contar, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As I was mentioning, this one is the Luxury one. This is a 2022. Come with the nice trims. Uh, let me show you guys the miles. Only 5,639 miles. This is a 22. And it comes with the push start right here. 
Let me hop in here and show you guys. I just they just washed it, so I hate to get it dirty because I know you guys are gonna come pick it up. But I know más. Hay para que se anime. Nuevecita la camioneta. Con tanque lleno. Con tanque lleno. Para que no van a decir que. So come get yourself a brand new truck. You guys be. You guys decide what you guys want. Que rollo, aquí sigamos con el vlog. Uh, no sé si se acuerdan en el vlog cuando andaba yo en Hawaii. Que andaba yo en a, en a two piece set. Que, que parecía casi como Versace. Pues si se acuerdan, en ese vlog dije que me lo había comprado un camarada que se llama Pre Cuts. Y pues fíjense en cómo es el mundo. Ustedes pensarán que estoy loco. But I just wanna tell you guys. Uh, something how something small like that could go a long way, you know. A uh, while ago, me and my boy were just hanging out, and he just pulled up with the with the set. He's like, "Here, my boy. Like, I just I knew I was gonna see you later today, and I saw this badass set. And since I can't fit in it, te lo compré para ti. I'm pretty sure you'll rock it. And I was like, like, se me quedó, like, you know, like that's fucking badass, you know, like. No offense, but not even my sisters do that sometimes, you know, in their blood. But I was like, me quedé, like, wow, that's badass. One day I'm gonna rock it. And you guys saw I rocked it in Hawaii. Well, it turns out that now my boy needed a tow. And you guys know I already have a, a trailer. So he posted on his story, you know what, I need a tow. Um, who, who can tow me? And I was you know what, my boy, like, I got you, don't even trip, you know? Tengo mi trailer, ya está. So look, this truck broke down, and you guys are gonna laugh when I tell you guys what's wrong with it. But yeah, point is, he bought me a small little set, and it meant so much. And you know, like, basically what I'm trying to say is, we have to be there for one another, not just for your family, your friends too. Look at this badass truck. It's a freaking crazy ass color. Seems beautiful. For those of you who don't know, me compa Lalo had a truck just like this. It was his first truck ever. Back in 2018. No más que se desconsoló y la vendió. But if he would have left it something like this, damn, it would have been crazy. Compa Lalo was a, like a 1990. But yeah, what happened with this truck? It's having electrical issues. And the reason is because my boy left the sitting y los ratones, yes, los ratones freaking ate his, his wiring harness, his engine harness, so, damn, so now uh, we brought it, dropping it off, so it, it could all get rewired. But yeah, I just want to tell you guys a little story. So since we were already in the area, we decided to come and pay my man, Street Concept, a visit. Oh, they moved the office, look. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, we are finally picking up our blue SS clone. Um, it really sucks because it's been ready for two days. It was ready within like the first four hours that I dropped it off. But uh, since I was in Hawaii, I've been super, super busy and I had a lot of things lined up that I had to do. So I kept getting late. Whenever I was ready to come pick it up, my boy was already at home. Um, but yeah, we're finally picking it up. Um, but since we already have the trailer, since we gave my boy a tow, we just decided to, we're just gonna throw it on here para que no vaya vacío the trailer. And also, para ahorrar el tanque de gas. You know, why drive if we have this trailer? So we're just gonna throw on the trailer here. I wanted to show you guys how it rides. But, um, like I said, we have the trailer. Um, hopefully it's not bouncing anymore. So here is La Mama Whiskies. Let me show you guys the work. Beautiful, look at that. So the reason why I was so happy was because right there, it was hitting with my frame. Um, I might not be making sense. But uh, this is the diff right here. When it was all flat, the, this diff was hopping and hitting the frame and it didn't have no space to, to go up. And I believe he gave me new shocks. I don't know if those were mine or not. I'll ask him right now, but yeah, look at it. My boy freaking gets down. Look at that, both sides. So now the truck should be A1. And then later we're gonna cover it up, put the doghouse and stuff, pero con calma. Paso a paso. And lock and loaded. Shout out to El Compa Lalo for always sharpening them down for me. Está, está, está. So we're ready to take it home. This truck is finally ready to go. So pretty soon we're gonna be doing donuts in it. <laughs> 